Well, as you can see, there's been a few changes uh, to the game. I reset it. I made some counters. Um, they're not great looking counters. I mean, they're, they're functional. Here, I'll zoom in a bit so you can see what I mean. Um, hopefully you can see there. Good. Yeah, I'll zoom in and out, basically. I just wanted to use the SBI um, images that I uh, saw at that icon library thingamajig. The problem is, um, I don't know if it's the way I saved them or they the way they um, they are, but they're all raster images and they had like tons of freaking artifact like um, artifacts around them and, and it was difficult for so that's why everybody's white. I was just not going to start dealing with colors. Maybe I could have banded them a bit more, but we'll just go with that. And like I said, um, I really wanted to just go with the uh, the images that I found on the SPI icon library and just go with that. So the blue hexagons are the British, and the red hexagons are the uh, uh, the Germans. Um, I am using essentially, and Mianri Mike uh, mentioned he's like, and other people were alluding to it as well, and so was I about the scale differences. Um, I'm going with 300 meters per hex, so that really wonks out um, the soldiers in, in a sense, so I had to reduce some of the ranges. I'm hoping it'll still be a lot of tweaking. It doesn't really matter. Um, I can fix that up later. Uh, but I think not too bad uh, from, what I can, from what I can see so far. So I've got... Um, uh, well, I'll show you the little card. Maybe you can see, and then I'll, I'll show you the counters later too. So there you go. So the British infantry, as you can see, I'm, as I mentioned before, the British infantry and German infantry are basically the same. So four attack, three range. So that would be about 900 meters. I, I don't know if that's, you know, whatever. Let's, like I said, we're just going with it. The riverboat gets essentially, what, 4.5, um, uh, 4,500 or 4.5 kilometers pretty good a british machine gun so on and so forth i just like i said we're just going to play with it the rules i'm sticking the soldiers rules except for obviously the light terrain it doesn't have it but uh oh. so we're going with that the light woods like i said um if you're adjacent to them they're just like being in the open to uh two defense uh three defense if the attacker and hopefully that this does make sense if the attacker is not adjacent and only one light woods is between the attacker and the defender, with the defender being in light woods, counting as one light woods, if you get the idea. And then four defense if it's two, and then four defense, and the attacker cannot use um, direct fire uh, if there's three or more. Uh, ho hopefully you get the idea. Yeah, I've been rolling for the, um, the river boat over here. Um, I gave the player the option to go this way or that way. Um, I went this way just due to the fact it's a lot easier for me to get um, observed fire towards the town. I'm pretty sure. So far, so good. I rolled. I, I needed to roll. Um, uh, as long as I didn't roll a nine or more, I was okay. Now we're into some weird land here because I'm not used to... Uh, there's just so much hidden movement right now. Um, remember, the rivers essentially are like canals. And from a, from what I know... From what I've been reading, if the um, the units are like uh, right behind the river or the canal thing, uh, let's hold on here. Let's make sure I've got it right because I don't think you're, you it's on it. If it is, then I'm in trouble. Um, but if they choose to move out of the canal, so maybe I should have stayed on the canal. No, I, I'm going to use it because you should be uh, behind the river. It's like the river bank, and you're kind of hiding behind there. That kind of makes sense, I would assume. Um, let me take a look at the canal uh, hexes for, well, the canal hexes run straight through the, uh, the hexes as well for uh, soldiers. Hold on here. Let me read this bit out. Jeez. That's going to, well, it affected move. Well, I don't think I did the, I think I did the movement right, which is if you, you can move into a canal hex or stream or river the way I'm doing it, um, costs one movement point, but to, to move out of it, it costs three. As far as I know, oh, that's right, because it was like if you're an adjacent river hex, shoot. So these guys are not protected due to the river. And I could have been taking pot shots at some of these guys, I think. Well, not this guy, because he is in the river right now. So, okay, I'm going to have to start. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I'm doing this video, because I probably would have not uh, spotted this. Well, most of them are across the river, but it's still going to be important for this. Well, he's in woods. Uh, the machine gun unit. The other thing too, I'm starting to to do kind of der 
um, Krieg hexery, if you want to call it, is if there's more of one particular ha um, terrain type on one side, if you I'm firing through here because I'm firing into that area, I'm going to say that uh, this guy would be clear. Uh, if I'm firing from across here, I hope you, you understand, and then it's light woods that way. And I'm okay with this. I'm not playing with the rules too, too much as far as I know. Uh, we'll see. I reduced the movements a bit. I removed the ranges a bit, and we'll go from there. I'll zoom out a little bit. Maybe I can show you just a bit more. Um, so those are infantry. Like I said, the same thing. I decided to get rid of the trenches, and I moved some of the German troops. They were over here. Uh, trenches are just too crazy. 20 uh, defense uh, value. I was like, no, no, no. We're not going to get into that. Um, so we'll just give everybody improved positions. I don't want to move anybody, but it's getting into this weird uh, feeling. I'm like, but it's kind of like in the sense of from what I've been reading about uh, the war in Africa, even I think, I can't remember what the quote, who the quote was, I, uh, but it was something like it wasn't um, trying to def to def uh, defeat the enemy. It was trying to find the enemy. And I was like, okay, I'm, then I'm okay with this. I'm sure the Germans are like, yep, they've seen movement. They've seen the troops move across and then just go back into obscured, uh, you know, or uh, become hidden again. They know it's going to happen. Uh, that's where I'm at. I'm going to stop um, the video. I don't want to get into, like, I really, really want to slow down with this game. Uh, due to the fact that I want to get the soldiers because I'm making so many adjustments I can't make any more like with the rules due to the fact I've got to make sure if, when something breaks uh, it's due to that modification not the obviously the soldier rules because there's nothing wrong with them as far as I'm concerned I'm just trying to adapt them for um, uh, the war in Africa as far as I'm concerned I just want to have some fun uh, with my mind and um, having, I am having a good time I'm enjoying interacting with the, uh, the people that have been um, giving me tons of feedback which has just been really good so yeah I think it, you can see the staggered bits here I'll zoom out a little bit I don't have to do too much but uh, I did like I said I moved the uh, riverboat you don't need to see him anymore well, but I think you hold on here where's the town yeah you can't see the town dude There we go. So you can just see, yeah, you don't have to see the whole, uh, the whole whatever. So like I said, I'm just putting some infantry there. We're going to, uh, you know, it's going to be, uh, we're up to turn, uh, turn four for the um, Germans. I don't think I'm still going to do anything. We're just, I've been just going to wait for someone to um, get, you know, whatever. This is going to be important, though, due to the fact that if that's the case, that they have to be on the river, on the canal or whatever, to um, get that uh, hidden movement bit, I think. I'll have to take a look again, because that's going to be important. Because um, if they're not, because before I was playing it in almost the opposite way. I was going to say that... Um, like if, well, like, hmm. Yeah, I was playing it if you were like here, more of like on this side towards the hex. Okay then, like I said, we're going to go that way. So they'll still be hidden once they move across the river, but then you're adjacent and I see you because you're adjacent. So these are two spots that the, the Germans are going to have to realize, or, I mean the Allies are certainly not going to go towards there. And um, I'm not going to, I was thinking about doing some interdicting fire towards that area, but I'm like, well, obviously I don't have to because as soon as they appear there, um, they're going to be into, into trouble, uh, except they get to attack first. Uh, that's This is the beautiful thing about this game, mutual fire. And it doesn't, from what I've been, you know, reading about the rules, it doesn't mean mutual fire in the sense of um, just I get the counterattack. No, 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 no. Anybody that's, um, once that mutual fire phase uh, comes into contact, uh, if I've still got somebody in range and hasn't done anything, that's the whole point of having enemy f uh, disruption, um, friendly disruption. It, it's affecting that mutual fire phase because both players get the mutual fire phase. You get the idea? It's flipping them. <laughs> it's like, I, I just think it's like, whoa, really nice, really, really nice. <clears throat> I, it's getting, it almost feels like a recreation in a bizarre way of that, uh, the scenario upstairs, uh, I should say upstairs, well, it's just on the above table uh, to my left. 
but uh, that's it. Uh, I think I'm, it's we'll play it out. I, I'm loving it uh, just due to the fact that it's making me think about um, the war in Africa, and I just uh, like I've said before, I really want to play uh, play that out as much as possible. And this seems very. Oh, it looks good to me for uh, anyways. I know, like I said, the the calendars don't look very good, but they're just they're functional. So we're going with that. Like you see, the machine gun almost looks like a telescope, <laughs> and the the artillery is like an old ship cannon for Christ's sakes. But oh well, that we're just going with it. All right, hope you're having fun. See you later.